Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's the boy Skylar, and today we got Jamari drop a video, right? Called the Liver King situation got worse. I don't know what happened to him ever since. I guess when he got exposed, he been like on a downfall. But hey, I, I haven't been keeping up, so I guess we're gonna see what it's all about. Um, if you're new here, been here before, as always, please, please, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it. So the last time we caught up with the Liver King, things were not going very well for him. First off, the man has aged decades in the last calendar year. Damn. He announced he would be going back on the roids. He started this whole family. Did he say he, wait, he's, he, did he announce he's going back on roids? Wait, who announces they're going, they're going on steroids? I thought that's something you keep like discreet, like keep to yourself, like undercover and people ask you, you kind of like deny it or else like you're not ashamed. But I don't know people who announce it like, hey, I'm going back on steroids. Like, I don't think that's a good thing to like announce. But hey, to which his own. The year he announced he would be going back on the roids. He started this whole family arc with his content, including oh, eating after his dogs, which was just downright disgusting. Just look at the spit. Ugh. Jamari, bro, you didn't have to slow it. <laughs> bro, I don't care what they say. A dog's tongue is cleaner than a human. That is nasty. All right? That don't don't be doing that shit, man. Oh my god, bro. Other than that, the Liver King was sending electro waves into his heart and trying to push this new image onto his followers as some sort of primal 1960s Italian gangster figure. And so over the last couple of it's kind of giving me Andrew Tate a little bit, but yeah. The months, <laughs> it's safe to say that the Liver King has continued to spiral. And one thing I found very interesting about his rebrand is the fact that he's now fully leaning into his most embarrassing moment when he and his ancestral lifestyle were essentially outed as a fraud and he was exposed for taking a massive amount of gear. I mean, this is his current TikTok bio. 11k per month steroid scammer king and i made a fortune and despite the fact that both the all right see see people have no shame anymore <laughs> people dead ass don't have no shame yeah i'm a scammer oh sure yeah i'll just put it in my bio actually yeah, i got rich off of it i don't give a fuck like what General See, me personally, I got too much pride for that shit, bro. I couldn't I couldn't be out here embarrassing myself on my family like that shit, bro. I can't. <laughs> public and his fans alike have kind of seen behind the curtain at this point. He's still out here trying to promote his way of living as if it is something to be proud of. If you're not building, you're destroying you. That's precisely why you're a loser. You live in a low state. You give and get low vibrations, a low life from below. That was me. I hated it. I changed. And then there is his insane looking face, okay? This is the face of a man who is going through a midlife crisis. That, uh, and I guess that Twitter <laughs> is doing so bad at this point that it can only afford the likes of Liver King advertising on its platform. And so I've been getting all these different Liver King messages. I hardly wipe. Don't consume worthless fibers and there just ain't worthless waste. A daily dose of eggshells adds a firmness that shapes what most men celebrate as the perfect shit. So the man is quite literally shit posting. And I get to take one every morning like clockwork. Wait, what? He lost me. I, I hardly wipe. I, I am um, like, I was, I was puzzled. Like at that line, I was gone. Like my mind, I didn't even hear what he said afterwards. I would just like, did I just hear what I just, <laughs> yeah, that shit is beyond me, bro. I grown ass man too. Shit. So the man is quite literally shit posting. And I get to take one every morning like clockwork. I call it my royal shit. It's crispy, dense, and yes, it smells horrific. But only to others apparently, okay? He takes a big whiff inside that toilet every morning. I still check with the test wipe, but rarely does it require reinforcements. Cut the crap, aka cut down on fibers and starches and assess your libido in 30 days. And the one-eyed bandit here also decided to attach this video to his powerful message about taking a shit. <laughs> Where he is quite literally just eating eggs right out of the coop, okay? Pretty much right out of the chicken's ass. And listen, I know this man's trying to live this primal lifestyle, but you cannot... Like, why? Just for likes, bro? For attention? Like, why? Why? Bro, like... I don't... 
I just this is why I stay off of social media, bro. I try to. It's just like shit like this, bro. Like grown ass people acting like, like come on, bro. You you stop a toddler for doing some shit like this. You don't expect a grown ass man to be doing shit like this. Now tell me that is sanitary by any means. And you wonder why we had COVID and all that shit, right? And you wonder why. Okay. And the fact that he is still trying to pull off this shtick, and he's still trying to say like, oh, this is the healthy lifestyle, this is how I obtain this physique, when everyone knows that there's more roids flowing through his body than the 1990s Yankees locker room, is comical <laughs> to say the least. And you guys might have been wondering, well, what was up with that eye patch that he was sporting? Well, apparently at this point, the Liver King's health has gotten so poor that there's a high possibility that he might lose his eye. All the doctors keep saying I'm gonna lose the eye. Good, I have another eye. Everything in life is a gift. I sure as hell don't want to lose the eye. I mean, Jesus Christ, Liver King, take a look in the mirror and realize the absolute embarrassment you have become. Like anyone who took this guy's word as Bond is probably extremely disappointed by now. <laughs> this reminds me of when I flew to Boston last year to watch the Red Sox and I was very disappointed. I traveled all the way across the country to watch my team and my view for the first game was obstructed. On top of that, I had bought these tickets a couple of months in advance in fear that the game would sell out and the yeah. tickets actually ended up being a lot cheaper in the time leading up to the event. If I had known about game time back then, I probably would not have had these problems. With them, you can always see the view from your seat before you make your purchase. I ain't gonna lie, they, this was a slick ass ad, bro. I swear, like, <laughs> this was a slick. Props to you, Jamari. Props to you. That, that was a slick ass ad. I ain't gonna lie. It's including nudity. Here's his message about sleeping on a bed, where he says, Keep your soft ass bitch made bed. Comfort is not good for the organism. Comfort is good to keep you where they want you. Soft, weak, worthless, weaponless. Take the road to resistance and transform. And what steroid bound Pennywise is talking about here is sleeping on what's essentially a pallet that things no. get delivered on. And Liver King sleeps in a wooden plank bed. Three reasons. There's no off-gassing chemicals that are possibly carcinogenic, but definitely hormone disrupting. Two. The height of this bed is only 12 inches, so the flexibility that's required to get in and out of it, I get to keep it for the rest of my life. There's also no metal springs, no real mattress, which prevents you from getting your deepest, most restorative sleep. You can see here, the only thing that separates me from the wooden planks is a couple of sheets. Now, was there any reason he had to be naked for this video? That, uh, I do <laughs> not know. I guess I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, bro, I hope it's not a guy recording, bro. Cause that would be like a super like weird, awkward situation to be in. <laughs> like I just hope it was like his wife or whoever he's dating, like recording that because yes, yeah. that kind of falls into like the midlife crisis category. And to me, I just think, why are you out here preaching about like hormone disruption? When for years now, you've been pumping an insane amount of unnatural shit into yep. your body. And you guys know, they say that the eyes tell all, and these are just not looking very healthy to me. And Especially pupils that's that big, bro? No. Especially, and it's not like he's in a dark room that the pupil is big. No, it's a bright ass room. Like, something is wrong. And the <laughs> thing is, we know you own a bed, big dog. Look at this clip that he uploaded three years back. Mm. And I'm sure his ass has a big old Tempur-Pedic somewhere in that Liver King mansion. And I told you guys he was really leaning into the whole steroid king thing. And he's also now leaning into the whole my haters make me famous arc. He even did like a hate challenge where he says Liver King's $1,000 a day hate giveaway challenge. The most liked, quoted, and retweeted hate message earns $1,000 per day for 100 days straight. So this oh, man's damn. really out here giving away $100,000 all in the name of hate. He says the top rank from last year was fake natty, con swindling no good narcissist scammer. I mean, to me, he just looks like a tiny ass Chuck Norris. He's also <laughs> still out here posting this type of promotional material. Liver King's Barbarian, a sacred rite of passage. It's every man's birthright. As of this video, December 2023, I've clocked 133 barbarians. One super barbarian. It 
And just wait till you hear what the barbarian and super barbarian workout is. 70 pound kettlebells, 70 pounds in a backpack, 120 pounds on top of a sled, 20 pound ankle weights, one mile, a fucking hell. Train the barbarian, test your barbarian, uncage your motherfucking barbarian! I mean, what the fuck is this man training for? You expect <laughs> me to believe that he walked a mile underwater with 20 pound weights strapped to his legs, like, carrying on, these 50 pound dumbbells in each hand with a fucking sled behind him? And I also thought this was absolutely hilarious. Liver King acted like he was gonna get on the uh, giving out money wave. Take off. How many do we have? Three of them? People. About to go tip the guys that are doing all the heavy lifting. I give something much more valuable than money. Watch this. And these workers are probably thinking, oh, finally, I'm the one getting blessed. I've seen this on TikTok. I've seen it on Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. Ain't no and fucking finally, way. God decided that today would be the day. If you don't have the money to properly tip someone, maybe you shouldn't tip them. Because I honestly, I think it's more of an insult when you give them like, not what the word i don't know maybe am i wrong am i wrong i mean i'm i always tip i make sure like if i don't have the money to eat out bro i take i take the food out like you know i'm not gonna sit and dine if i don't have the money to tip like you shouldn't be like that right um yeah but if it i honestly think like if you have the money you should give the money bro it's no reason why the live it's there's no reason why he shouldn't like give them a good stack each. on instagram reels youtube shorts. especially if you pay a thousand dollars a day for insults like come on if that was actually real and finally god decided that today would be the day that he looked upon me and blessed me with a very small fraction of an influencer's income never king bar split in half one for each of you so you can split it three ways. So will you share half of that with the pilot also? Did he just give the lady one fucking bar and tell her to split it three ways? For each of you. So you can split it three ways. So will you share half of that with the pilot also? The entire tip. And my man is really out here giving out no the liver king bars. Way. Wielding my dominant husband sword to forge the bond above. Fill it with love and model excellence and relationship. My complimentary opposite, the balance to my blade, my lioness, my soulmate. You attract your complimentary opposite. So if you want a 10, you have to create internal value in yourself to become a 10. If you want a two, remain a two. I'll take a 10 and I call her my queen. And in all honesty, it's a big shout out to the liver queen man for putting up with his midlife crisis and also putting up with his undeniable stench. Like I'm sure <laughs> it's not easy to be married to a man who smells like a petting zoo. And even the community notes are out here frying his ass under his very own advertisements where they say what brought Liver King his ripped appearance and close to nature body were IGF-1 hormones and up to 100 milligrams of testosterone per week. Costing close to eleven thousand dollars per month. Damn! I got a hot pound of tofu. Only twenty nine ingredients, none of which are found in nature. Yeah, because tofu is literally like one ingredient away from becoming plastic, <laughs> or some shit like that. Like all the soy to express my highest and most estrogenic form. Here's what Liver King is having for dinner today. And listen, Liver King, you cannot be out here trolling vegans when you're still out here doing all this nasty shit. Frog tongue. Get some. So get down on some tongue. And wait till you see how big my tongue is. Bro, like, why? 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 Like, it's tomorrow, why? That's right? Liver King's got the biggest tongue. I mean, this is some serial killer activity if I've ever seen yeah, it. Yeah, something I mean, is this wrong. one is just beyond disgusting. I don't even know what he's eating here. To me, it looks like shit. Mm. Primal meatloaf. And then we also got the raw variety. Mm. So we got some delicious femur bones. We're going to scoop the bone marrow all the way out. And then we got the king plate. Testicle liver, bone marrow heart, otherwise known as king for dessert, the whole beast. 
Protein Bro, drink. it's no way. And like, a liver king bar with more liver. I mean, if you're still out here buying this guy's supplements, you must have the IQ of fucking Patrick Starr. And Liver King's been that a little ass. snappy when it comes to the haters lately, okay? He posted this video of him eating two T-bone steaks. And someone replies, how many steroids have you taken? To which he says, several less than you need. And this comment really says it all. What a fraud. Snappy comebacks aren't going to outrun the knowledge that you were using $10,000 a month in PEDs. That's crazy. And I just really think, like, Liver King, what is the point of trying to keep up with and kind of update this persona? Like, if you're already a rich, successful person who lives in a mansion, I would think has, His health? you know, millions yeah. of dollars tucked away. Bow out gracefully. Why make your whole family get involved with this entire thing? Because honestly, this shit is just getting more embarrassing by the day. He seems to be having more and more health issues. And I want to know, who's out here watching these videos like, Oh yeah, that's someone who I want to model my life after. I need to eat raw testicles. Oh, trust me, trust me. There's a lot of, there's a lot of little motherfuckers out here that stay looking for a daddy. And they would love to have him or look up to him and try and be just like that. The same way with Andrew Tate. Trust me. There is a group, a large group, that was willing to follow his, yeah. I ain't to eat shit. I want to eat after my dog. I mean, it's just crazy. But either way, I want to know what you guys think about the Liver King down below. Just a quick little update on our guy. I also want to encourage you guys to check out the sponsor of today's video, Game Time. But as you guys know, we spin your boy the tan Superman. And All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.